Hello everyone, this is Sadge620, and um, I guess, uh, I think we all know why I'm up here this early. Uh, there's a direct happening at 10 a.m., which is like, come on guys, really? It's 7 a.m. in Cali right now, or will be 7 a.m. They are doing this way freaking early. I mean, it would also be like, what, 7, no, six, it would be 6 p.m. in Japan, no? Yeah, it'd be 6 p.m. in Japan and, like, noon for you Brits, like you, Kira. Hi, Kira. Um, but yeah. So, this is fucking early for me to be streaming, but, uh, cool, I ain't complaining. Um, but yeah, I exist. And I forgot to move files to my hard drive, so yippee, I'm doing that right now. Um, anyways, so... Wonder Direct happens at 10, it is 9.50, or 9.51, just uh, the clock turned to 9.51. They usually do it around 5 p.m. your time. Yeah, that this is a, they usually do it around noon or so here, noon, 1, 2, 3 p.m. It, they never do it this early, so I'm kind of shocked by that. But, um, I mean, so, I'm just gonna point out what I'm already seeing. Who the fuck is this guy? Like, there are a couple, like, Yoshis are going to be playable, which is cool, I guess, but it feels wrong having playable Yoshis in a Mario game. That just screams wrong to me, and that's just because I've grown up with Mario riding Yoshi, like, since Mario World, for God's sake. Um, Daisy being a new character is awesome. Um, that being said, I feel like this is going to have, like, 3D World Syndrome, where each of the characters has a different, unique ability like Mario turning into a, a Republican, I guess Luigi with a big hat. Um, that scares me, because, like, there there's different play styles, and typically with the with Mario, like, all the characters have usually all been the same. But um, 3D World has that syndrome where you play as Blue Toad, you go fast. Uh, you play as Luigi, you get nice jumps. You play as Peach, you have floaty jumps. You play as Rosalina, you have a star spin. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like that or dislike that. I have mixed feelings about it. Um, and I have a feeling that Wonder is going to have some sort of caliber of that. Um, even though when I think of a Mario Bros. game, I think of a 2D platformer where all the characters are equal and you can pick up each other and be an absolute dick to each other. Um, that's just how I see it. This is probably just going in a different direction, which I may not like necessarily, but it may it, it won't deter me from like potentially playing it. it. It definitely won't deter me from playing it. Um, but yeah, Mario Bros. Wii, it like you had four characters, and they all basically functioned the exact same, except for the Toads. The Toads had slightly weirder collision boxes, but point is, they were mostly the same. This, it seems like each character has like a different way, like a different move set, or not move set, but different mechanics involved and again we still have, we still don't know who this guy is this little caterpillar on the Lu uh, luigi don't know who that is yet um if each character has a different play style we still don't know uh like what daisy and peach is like you know play style is going to be like we don't know how the yoshis are going to play i mean obviously they're going to flutter jump but I mean, we, we there's a lot of stuff we don't know yet. Obviously, it looks like Yellow Toad's going to be playable, so I'd assume Blue Toad's playable. Um, and there are four Yoshis here, so it's likely four-player support. I mean, I'm just staying the obvious or what I can glean from this single picture. But I I have a strong feeling that this will have like different play styles by character akin to 3D World. And unlike... 3D, uh, no, uh, unlike, uh, NSMB Wii, or NSMB, uh, or NSMB U, or NSMB UD, uh, it will, it will probably be, like, a whole different direction for, you know, a 2D Mario. It'll be, it'll be closer to its 3D Mario, uh, counterparts, at least in that aspect. Yeah, Martine, Martine will probably mention that he stepped down. I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that that will definitely be in this announcement, uh, which sucks. I kind of feel bad, but they're probably going to announce the new VA as well, um, as well as probably the new VAs for a bunch of characters, because I, I should mention this. Martine was Mario, Luigi, Wario, uh, Waluigi. Um, he, he was a bunch of the main line. He was a bunch of the main line male characters. 
Uh, so this is this is a huge like change up, and I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to either suffer and deal with it, or I'm gonna take a new liking to whoever the new VAs are. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a whole kitten kitten caboodle. Uh, and I'm and I'm I'm slightly worried about that, but I mean I can't really say no to it. Uh, they're a multi-million dollar company, and I'm just some dumbass who who may or may not give them money. So I guess I just got to deal with that. I don't know. But anyways, we have about four more minutes. Oh, I should mention, I might do a Savage Cast after this. Um, that's entirely up in the air, though. Though I may do one later today. And if I don't, I'll probably just do more Splatoon 3. Uh, Google Translate, I may do that as well. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll voice my concerns live about this. Because I'm genuinely uh, I'm curious about what's going to be in it. Um, I probably won't be like super, super uber excited about something. Uh, cause it's, it's 2D Mario. Like how, how do you refine 2D Mario more than it has been refined without, you know, making it bland like NSMB2 was. NSMB2 was bland as fuck and so is U, I would argue. U was very bland. Uh, Wii was amazing. DS was amazing. And they just got more bland as time went on. Um, so I hope, I, I really do hope this refreshes the genre a little bit or refreshes the franchise cause it needs it. It, it very much needs it. Uh, two and you are just bland and like kid friendly and super easy. We, we is fun, especially when you have friends. And um, I, I, if I ever do do another four player like online net play game of sorts with friends, it'll probably be 3D World, or maybe NSMBU. But that's again, that's also up in the air. I'm not entirely sure when or if I'll even do that. But um, who knows? I might just switch it over to this game for all I know. I mean, if we all like it so much, we'll just Ryu Jinx net play it. Play some of the old Just Dance games. I think they 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 made Just Dance for the Wii up until like 2019. I'm not even joking when I say that. They literally made Just Dance all the way up to 2019 on the Wii, which is insane, by the way. But, um, yeah, they did that. So that, that that's, like, really freaking cool, honestly, that they did that. 2019 was their last year they did that, though. But still, the fact that they supported it for 13 years is kind of crazy. Peach being a playable character in this is also going to be weird. And that's mainly just because I'm, I'm so used to, cat, like, getting Peach that her, her being a playable character, or at least I'm going to assume she's a playable character, um, is going to feel like... It's going to feel like an out-of-body experience. I don't know. It's going to feel like, wait, what? Because I know, I know you play her in 3D World and all that. It just it, it feels weird, like... So like what's the what's the whole plot gonna be then? That that that's a whole new rabbit hole I, I didn't even realize existed. Peach is playable. What's the fucking plot? Is Bowser in this game? What's the what's the fucking plot? We're gonna learn about the plot of this game, even though it's a Mario game, so it's gonna be really like stupid, silly, kitty plot. But um I'm I'm curious as to like what the plot will be. I'm very curious. Cause uh, this will, this definitely won't be a uh, something normal. Also, let me quickly change the quality to 1080. So that way we're set, and that way uh, YouTube doesn't compress the stream super bad, um, and you guys don't see a bunch of blurry garbage. But yeah, we probably have, like, what, 30 seconds left? We'll probably start in a moment. Oh, it's 10 now. It just hit 10. So now we wait. We wait for it to start. But yeah, I'm, curi for, I'm curious about the plot, and I'm curious about the play styles of the characters. Because that's going to be two huge things that make or break it. Ooh, so exciting. 
Also, I really hate those flowers. Those flowers are annoying. You can't tell me otherwise. To the flower kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the mushroom kingdom. Mario and friends. I already see the dynamic resolution. Ah, okay. The king of the Koopas had other plans. Well, there's the plot. With just a single touch of the mysterious wonder flower. With Prince Florian's castle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. I like that. That's funny. That, that's hilarious. That's genuinely hilarious. You can see a dynamic resolution though, and that, that pisses me off. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. And I wasn't even trying to look for the dynamic resolution I saw it. Also, I did see Nabbit there, so Nabbit's back. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest So purple coins look like a collectible again from Odyssey. But we still don't know what they do yet. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Interesting. The adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery. And I'm gonna guess all the levels are gonna have names instead of just numbers. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich Fire spikes, interesting. In each world. That's a new enemy. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely they took the a... areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Journey together, so that's there. There is going to be multiplayer. I mean, obviously that was going to be a thing. And it seems they have replayable levels, which should be required for a game. Get close and onward and upward. God, those guys are annoying. Get up here. What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Genuinely, those things annoy me, and I don't know why. Besides Mario, you can also play. Maybe it feels uncanny, I don't know. Luigi. Oh my god, that's a lot of characters. Peach! That's a lot of characters. One of two toads. Bop. Bopette. They all play the same. So go with your They all play the same. Good. Good. Okay. She's and Nabbit on the other hand won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Ah, so those are for casuals and 6-year-olds. If they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Okay, so they basically made it for children without, you know, forcing it on us more competitive and good players. Those guys just remind me of the, uh, whatchamacallits. Uh, from SM3D Land. Those are cool. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies Interesting. Can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. 
Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and Locky Twos. It's Locky Two, bro. Republican Mario. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. <laughs> In this form, okay, you that's can good. Easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? Two block gaps. If nice. You water in your trunk and spray it out. Who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? Wow. It's not just Mario, though. Oh, okay. So everyone the can have it. Hey, uh. Peach, Daisy, and Toad. <laughs> elephant forms as well. <laughs> what the fuck? The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture Everyone's a Republican in this game. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care that of that Koopa was like, oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. That kind of reminds me of the Super Bowl uh, like ability in uh, Mario Land. Okay, that's a cool mechanic. To get to those hard to reach places. That's a cool mechanic, actually. I like that. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky. Ah. Or hard-headed enemies of breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. I feel like that's a niche mechanic, though. Never mind. That is not a niche mechanic. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Okay, that's cool. I was wrong about being a niche mechanic. That's actually clever. Wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Damn. They did justice to Daisy's uh, outfit. Oh, hang on to an extra power up. Good. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Good, they had that from uh whatchamacallit. Or swap them from worlds. The situation. That was also in DS, but still, I'm glad they added that back. This is a wonder flower. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, Everything gets fucked up. Some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You could end up in a free fall. Bubbles might uh bubble up. Your perspective can change. Oh shit. That's trippy. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? Goomba jump scare. Or a spike ball. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Like a balloon. When you touch Again, from Worlds. Always expect the unexpected. Except this one's more controllable. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. So basically, these are star coins. Seed is thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. They're basically star coins, but not. Got it. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go Not too fond of this, but okay. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by a There's going to be limits to this, methinks. I doubt they're going to allow you to equip them all. 
That's my Charge one. Up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Spoderman. Spoderman. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not That's trippy. stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Yeah, equip them from that the was right. Map or when starting a course. I was right. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. I was right. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. There we go. That's what the flower coins are for. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local for a player for a player local call up around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Okay, interesting. Life either. And just so Lives are back. That's a good thing. I didn't even realize that. You can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. Oh god, that's trippy. Or if you're an elephant. Oh god. <laughs> it just seems wrong. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Interesting. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. It's kind of trippy, not gonna lie. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items. I mean, that's a cool feature. Reaching the goal pole together and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses you I just don't play. expect people and to actually use it that much. And even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Okay, Dry Bones looks tri oh, uh, uh, dry Bowser Jr. looks trippy. Connecting with players from around the world or syncing up He's green now. Riveting races. You can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day. Now the question is how do you get lives? Do you just get them by getting 100 coins or what? Oh, Captain Toad's here. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and It looks decent. I'm not gonna lie. Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch. Don't know if I'll buy it right away though. Plus, 
A new Nintendo Switch OLED model, Mario Red Edition, is also on the way. Okay, cool. Closely, you'll find Mario. I'm probably not buying another Mario, or I'm probably not going to buy a Mario Switch because the Switch 2 comes out next year. So yeah, okay. I I guess that's cool. I guess it's cool if you don't have one yet. But all right. Um, I mean, game looks cool. I like. I'm 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 glad the elephant Mario is not ex the elephant item isn't exclusive. I'm I'm kind of glad about that. There's also the ball one, which looks cool. It reminds me of the super flower a little bit from uh, Land. If anybody uh, grew up playing that game, game looks decent. I I don't know. I I feel like I'm I, I'm not surprised by what they showed. Um, they got a lot of new characters though, and and they have Yoshi's and Nabbits for uh, I guess the the six year olds that uh that may play with you. Um if you're if you're like a family or like a parent that's getting this game for your kid, then I guess that's cool. Um I don't know. It looks decent. I'm not gonna really complain about it. It it doesn't look that bad. Um albeit the dynamic resolution's gonna piss me off. If I do play this game it will be on uh emulator solely because um the dynamic res. Um yeah, I know, I know. It, it, it just like it, I feel like it just stops cold at the end. I it, like it's nothing. Su there's nothing really surprising. I mean, sure, the character roster being you know uh, added to is cool, but I, like we already knew that when when they announced the game, I was like, "Ooh, that's interesting." They're adding Daisy to the game. Um, that's really awesome. But, I don't know, it's just like, yeah, it's another Mario game, but it actually looks like they, uh, they made a decent looking one, um, sans the, you know, the dynamic res and the, a couple other things. The omittance of Star Coins feels a little bit weird, um, even though beating a level or being a boss or doing a weird objective can get you one, I guess instead of getting alternate endings of levels, um, Instead of alternate endings, like red flags in NSMB, DS, Wii, 2, yada yada, they're doing wonder seeds and just have you do a weird objective to find something and get it. I guess that's cool, um, but that feels less like a Mario game and more like... Um, the, it, 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 it feels less of a Mario game, just, just straight up. I don't know. It's, it's cool. Um... But I, I definitely don't think I'm buying it right away. And if I do play it, it will probably be on emulator. Um, just because of the... the, Just because it doesn't run at, like, full resolution. Which, again, just really pisses me off. You could see it in some of the uh, areas. You could see, like, the, uh, like the pixels changing uh, to, like, compensate for the resolution. I'm just like, really, guys? You couldn't, you couldn't just make it run at HD? Again, the Switch hardware really holds games back, and I know a lot of you are like, "Ooh, G6 just being, uh, he's just being grumpy about his games not looking good." I don't care who makes the game; you need to make sure that it like doesn't like have crappy dynamic res or anything like that. Yeah, it's cool. The red Switch is cool. They're making a new console next year. They're making a new console next year. Even though they haven't confirmed that, there have been leaks about it, they have handed out dev kits to people already, they're making a new console next year, and if not, in 2025. I'm not considering buying another Switch unless it's off the second-hand market and or someone gifts it to me. And if someone gifts it to me, the Switch I have currently is getting modded and getting loaded with every Switch game known to man. Because... Yeah. Homebrew and uh, homebrew and piracy on a switch is actually really fun, so I may consider that. But I don't know. I'm just I don't I don't see the uh, I don't see the appeal of getting this one day one. I I don't I don't see the appeal of getting this one day one. And the online features are cool if people are gonna play the game for five years straight. They're not. People are gonna buy this game day one play it for a week, and then never play it again. Because this is a single-player game. They'll play it for a week and then never play it again. It's a Mario game. It's short. 
I, I say short, like maybe 20 hours, but that's short. That's not a, that's not a Zelda. That's not a 100, 200 hour, 300 hour, 400 hour Zelda game. It's short. I, again, do not see, like, why they put so much time into a bunch of the online features when barely anyone's going to use them or they'll just be dead a year into the game because no one's playing Wonder a year later. I don't know. I just, I, I, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of, like, time waster time wasters that they did i don't know i i i i have yeah i like again th this is a mario game it's gonna be short do i really want to pay 60 dollars for a mario game when i have wii ds2 u galaxy sunshine all these other games that i already have for free do i want to pay 60 dollars for a mario game I don't know. I don't know, man. And all those online features that they're adding, I don't know if that tempts it. And I sure as hell don't want to have me and three friends pay two hundred forty dollars total to play together. I don't know. I I don't I don't see that. I don't see that. Maybe you disagree. If you disagree, cool. I guess you like your disposable income. Can you share me some? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't see me buying this game day one. I don't. He heck, I don't, I don't see myself buying the game unless someone bought it for me. Like for my birthday or for Christmas or something. I, 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 if somebody wants to buy me that for a birthday or Christmas, cool. I don't think I'm going to buy it. I, I just, I don't see the appeal. It's cool looking. It's it like they're adding new items and like, I'm glad about that. I just, again, I don't see... I don't see it being worth 60 to me. Maybe 30 or 40, not 60. But yeah, again, this is just me being a harsh critic of Nintendo, as I always am. Uh, people are still going to buy this game day one and play it for 20 hours and then never play it again because this is Nintendo fans we're talking about. They will let games rot on their library and after buying them day one because they do that. Um, I don't know. I feel like if a game, if, if, if I were to choose, if I were given $70 or $60 and was told to spend it on a video game that comes out in October, I wouldn't spend it on Mario. I wouldn't spend it on Mario Wonder. I would spend it on Starfield. Unironically, I would spend it on Starfield. I would not spend it on Mario Wonder because I know Starfield would get me at least 60 hours of content. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, I know I'm 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 a man of hot takes. You guys know that already. But uh, that's that's just my stance on the Mario Wonder uh direct. I don't know. I just I do not see it worth sixty dollars to me. I I would rather pay money for Starfield than for this. But yeah, y'all take care. Um, I may do Splatoon three later today. Uh, more Google Translate, or I might do um, I might do a Savage Cast. I don't know. Those are going to be the two things in the air for me uh, later today. But yeah, I'll see you all soon. Take care.